everybody, this is Kai Altera, and this video is actually talking about my um, plants actually got a fungal infection outbreak. So I have my glasses on because I have my grow legs on, so I'll turn them off so you guys can see better, and so I can take these glasses off. So I actually had before some peas here that got decimated by um, leaf fungus uh, mildew breakout and it just started killing my plants left and right so I just decided to save my losses so I just cut them all out tossed them um, also I noticed that my pepper plants you can see here they actually have they still do have uh, an outbreak going on this pepper plant has it really bad this one not so much and you can see there's a little bit here on my um, beans and I actually started to get some on my strawberry on one of the leaves that I subsequently cut off. Here I had a very very sad little squash plant and it's basically dead. So I uh, put in another one and I actually just got this blackberry plant. Actually let me turn the light on so you can see things a little better. So I actually got this um, blackberry plant and it's when it came in the packaging you know it was in there for about a week so necessarily you know understandably i mean you know it has some leaf death it needs to be pruned back a little bit but uh for now it looks good i'm not too concerned about it and i also bought some starters some pepper starters this one here and this one and you can see the two that that are the original ones that are here so I looked up what I could possibly do because it's really bad. The um, the fungus, well, the ones that were afflicted very badly, I just cut them out. So what I found out was that you can actually use hydrogen peroxide to help with the help fight against the uh, mildew. So what you actually do is for this, this is a twenty four ounce bottle. And what I did was put about, I believe, uh, three or four tablespoons, got the little measuring spoons, tablespoons full of peroxide. And I didn't shake it, but I kind of just made sure it was evenly distributed. And then I went ahead and sprayed it on all of the plants. And for root growth, because there's an issue, uh, it seems that they don't grow as much especially if you look here at these peppers the starter peppers that i bought uh the root system was very congested it was actually a little bigger than this the container it was in i'd give it like three inches rounder but it was basically like this size um and the roots it was a big root ball it was just congested so what i actually did was once i took it out of the container I went ahead and uh, just stuck it into the ground and I used this, which is basically, it's just honey water. You know, you can see from the label here. And I bought this mason jar from the local store. And what you do is you boil water. And once you bring it to a boil, I turned it off, put it into this mason jar, and I put two tablespoons of honey in there. From doing my research, it seems as if um, the chemicals that are actually in the honey are there's a lot of sugars and it's actually an antifungal apparently it fights against the pathogens and by doing that it helps the root grow so you don't have to worry as much about infection and as well as that it excites the root system so that it wants to grow more and more um, i've been told before by one person i didn't do my research into it that if you use sugar water it'll help as well but since i know for a fact that honey has some um, antipathogen capabilities a little bit of I went ahead and just put it in and since I could back it up with research as well I went ahead and I just put it into the um, to all my plants so each one of these plants actually has it and they have the spray and they all have the honey and the funny thing is that the pepper right here the sickest uh, pepper I was actually before I did this research I was gonna throw it in the trash and I took it out you know stuck it in the trash and I thought about it and then I was like, you know what, let me research if there's more natural way of doing it instead of just cutting it, throwing trash, cutting it, throwing it in trash. 
And that's when I found out about the honey, and then I found out about the hydrogen peroxide, as well as baking soda as well. But I didn't use a baking soda because I already had um, hydrogen peroxide on hand. So uh, when I went to repot it, it actually, it was basically, it wasn't dead yet, but it was extremely dehydrated. All the leaves were drooping way down. It was, it didn't look good at all. So then I went ahead and I stuck it back into the soil, went ahead, um, secured the soil around it, pressed down firmly on it, and I got some of the honey water and I put it in. You know, of course it has, it's just basically warm water with honey at this point. And like an hour later, it's lifted up. It looks pretty good. It still has the fungus on it, uh, but it doesn't look as bad. Now, of course, it's not going to, the um, antiseptic properties aren't going to work in one day, I'd imagine. But it definitely looks, it looks perky, actually. It doesn't look as stiff because I remember before if you moved it, it was like moving a brick. Like ev all the leaves were like stiff. It looked, it was just bad. Like when you move it, the whole thing would just shift. It, there was no shaking or any looseness to it. It was like literally moving a brick attached to the ground. But now it actually moves a little bit more. It's um, it's a lot more mobile. And I know it's weird to say, but I've actually had this plant for around two, three weeks or so since I planted it, and it does look different. When I look here at the um, the crown of the leaves, I don't see as much, like, it looks better at the top, at the bottom. You know, of course, it's bad. I'm actually going to uh, prune some of these dead leaves at the bottom, but I'm going to continue spraying the... Um, I'm going to keep spraying the hydrogen peroxide for about twice a week. Since I don't have natural sun, I don't have to worry about the heat and uh, frying the leaves. So I'm going to do that. And also these mason jars, like, this is um, a quart. Two cups, one quart um, of honey water. And I'm going to apply the honey water about once or twice a week. Actually, twice a week sounds a lot better. And I'm going to spray twice a week as well um, so that I can fully destroy this fungal outbreak that's been going on. And my um, squash plant, the one that's living, the one that is basically not going to survive, I'll just keep it there because it might grow secondary leaves or something. But the other squash plant, this one right here, it actually looks pretty good like it's weird because when I first looked at it like at the start of the day there was minor leaf growth but it wasn't that big of a deal it was like tiny and then I get up like oh about five seven hours later and then it has it's prominent now you can see there is definitely a second leaf coming up right there right above my finger which is kind of weird because it wasn't like that before, but, you know, no big deal so long as it's growing. Um, the timer and everything is still going good, and I actually used some peroxide. I more diluted than the one you used for the fungus. Um, the spray on the leaves. I actually have some pea seeds here that are soaking. They're, you know, taking in sunlight when the sun comes back out. And I'm going to keep it there for about three, four days, and then I'm going to put it in the ground. But before I put it in the ground, I'm going to make sure that I get some... Um, I actually have a gallon jug of hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to pour some in there so I don't have to worry as much about the fungus the fungus, and I don't have to worry about um, it, you know, growing really slowly. So have it in there for three days. I'm going to go ahead and uh, water them first, plant them, and then I'm going to get like some honey water and I'm just going to use like, I just, this is my first time actually using other methods besides sticking the ground and watching it grow. So I'm excited to see what's actually going to become of it. So we'll see. Definitely see. I'm very excited about this. So like I said, the honey water, I'm going to do around twice a week and put a hydrogen peroxide maybe like two, three times a week because I really need to get rid of this mildew problem that's um, going on. So I'm going to start new with the peas. Um, start new with at least one of the strawberry, uh, one of the squash plants. Um, I actually have some 
actually in this pot right here, I actually have some soybeans growing. I don't know if it's actually gonna grow. I've heard it takes 16, uh, four, seven, it's around 16 days for it to come up. And to me, that sounds ridiculous. But I mean, if it's so, I've never grown soybeans before, so I imagine that, okay, I guess it could take a while. I mean, that's what the packaging said. And for the carrots, I'll, I haven't seen any growth. What I might do is just try and um, take out more soil and put some more carrot seeds in there, put it over and water it some more just to see because I haven't seen any activity as far as that's concerned. And it's been nearly a week and normally at that time. Um, you'll see some type of growth. So that's about it. Um, if you need, if you look down in the comments, you'll actually see the, um, the website. I got the information from for the hydrogen peroxide because it's more than just the 24 ounce. They have, you have five gallons, um, 35 gallon, you know, things like that. So I'll link you in the comments to the website that talks about the hydrogen peroxide. And we'll give it about a week or two uh, before, you know, if, before I try to see if there's any type of difference for the mildew growth. For the root system, I don't want to uproot them. But if they, if my peppers start growing uh, more, then I'll definitely know that there is a definite change because I've had those sitting there for about a week or two and there's been minimal growth. So if I start seeing an outbreak of growth where it's going crazy, then that'll be my confirmation that the honey is actually working. I mean, because what else would be making it grow that quickly besides the root structure? So that's everything. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe with your fellow YouTubers or with your friends. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Kai Altera. Have a